It's Saturday morning and I've just got my groceries. So I thought I'd show you what we eat for a week. So this is for a family of six. We've got our fresh produce. All the produce I brought was on special, so that makes it really cheap. So pumpkin was like, I think $1.50 a kilo or something. Those are the odd bunch zucchinis. Um, the green beans were $4 a kilo, so that whole bag is like, I don't know, less than $2. Dinosaur chicken, the kids love that. Pork, now that is way more than what we would normally get. We were gonna have some friends over who aren't coming now. <laughs> um, but that would, that's 2.3 kilos for a family of our size. That would do us for three meals. So that's three dinners worth of pork there. Um, we've got some frozen capsicum for cooking, more frozen veggies, frozen berries. We put that in the kids' yogurt, a little bit of chocolate, Cheese, we love our cheese, so this is a stock up on cheese. So I do cheese slices with this for the kids, then shredded is just, it's more expensive, but it's just really convenient. Um, and this is what I call my special cheese because I like really nice tasting cheese. Ham, uh, we've got chips, Cheerios, tea, butter, lots of milk and milk powder because my kids drink a ridiculous amount of milk. Cordial for my husband, lots of eggs, we go through lots of eggs. We've got our fruit, so we've got oranges, mandarins, apples, we've got garlic, tuna, sweet potato, I'm gonna use that to make some muffins for the kids. Um, I wouldn't usually get three of these, but they were on a good special and everyone in the house absolutely loves them, so they're really good for snacks. Rice crackers and pistachios. They're pretty expensive, they're a bit of a treat. Um, and then, I wouldn't normally get three boxes of tissues, but we just ran out of every box of tissues in the house all at one time, so. Uh, nappies, toilet paper, and just cleaning and shampoo. I'll just give you an idea of what I already have that will add to the week. Some frozen chicken drumsticks in here, which the kids eat. A Little bit of bread, and I will also make up some bread. Um, there's like some snacks and stuff up there. So in my fridge I already had some yogurt. You might notice it says mix, it's because yogurt is full of sugar so we mix um, natural yogurt with vanilla yogurt and it just means that the kids are having a little less sugar. So I already had some potatoes and a little bit of fruit and stuff. Hello. <laughs> What is on your forehead? Have you guys been playing with the stamps? No. <laughs> Popcorn, which we had plenty of, so we didn't need to get. Um, cups of soup, so all this kind of stuff, when it's on special, I buy heaps of it, like I did with these sour cream and chive things, and that will last us several weeks. And things like the milk powder, that will last us like, two months and you know we won't go through all the berries in a week so there's plenty of things here that will last us more than a week so in next week's shop we won't be getting these kinds of things but we'll be stocking up on other things that we're running low on like flour or whatever and this is where we look at what is on special and we only buy that on the weeks that it's on special if it's stuff that lasts and that saves you money on your overall shop so in here is like our snack drawer, this is our breakfast cereal drawer. And up the top I've got rice, you know, oil and flour for making bread. This is all my sort of baking type stuff. So I've got like dates and icing sugar and flour and all that fun stuff. This is all our nuts and seeds. And this is my freezer with our frozen meals. So we've got heaps in there that we do for like quick lunches or quick dinners and you know we've got meat and stuff more frozen meals we've got bread down there and stuff I use for cooking and that in there so because I am so blessed to have so much pantry space I can stock up on things that don't go off when they're on special this shop cost me $180 
Um, I got $20 discount um, just through various promotions that I had. I usually always have some kind of promotion every single week. Um, I've already saved up just on this shop. I got almost 2,000 Woolies reward points. So that means on my next shop I will save $10 and there will probably be some promotion that comes through my email that will save me another $10. So that means I'm good to go to save another $20 for next week. So you might say that the shop was so cheap because I already had so much stuff. I pretty much spend between $150 and $200 every single week. So I just always make sure that I've got a steady supply of things going and I always do keep quite well stocked. Yeah, 